used by people to enter and to leave the museum. So the double staircase is dated 1932, when the museums became a public in general. The staircase used here is used just by the people, when people after the chapel cannot go to the basilica. So imagine the basilica today was closed. Okay, like it was They had to go along the galleries and they would have get out, got out from this double staircase. So remember, till Jubilee 2000, we would have used just this one to enter and to live. It's very important why? Because there is a name of a Pope. Can you see the very first name of Pope Pius XI? Pius XI is the Pope that signed the agreement. behind St. Peter Dome on top of Trotsdale. All the buildings outside the Vatican walls were just built in the Vatican City. We missed the Pope. He appeared yesterday. But yesterday will be super crowded. So it's a good day to actually come today. There's the Oblix. Flanked by two fountains. So yesterday all this will be seated by the followers of Christ. Because they are Christians. Hot, hot day today. Mm.
Verità, io sono, sono smezzata io. Le stanze che l'avete visitato gli appartamenti? Eh sì. Because we are royalty. Sicuramente sono 1200. Questa è una bella settimana. Ecco, bravo. Come ne fanno vedere una 50? Yeah, we just lazy to walk. Mentre tutto il parco è 120 ettari, 1.200.000 metri quadri. E per il vera presentava solo la residenza e fila. La finestra che ha progettato la residenza. Okay, we are in Poland, in a milk bar. Eating some communist food. Think about the Asian tourists, and I have an impression that today we can see, you yeah. see a lot of them. A lot of them. Not only the food, but uh, as you can see there. The old town of Warsaw. So originally there were no colors. Uh, there were, but probably not as colorful. as the colorful, as the bright, the strong like you can experience today. Uh -huh. And and yes, and now we are on the old town market square, so the central square of the old town, which is rather small for the European mm. cities. Uh, because Warsaw was a small medieval city. Uh, this is just a very easy answer to that, to that issue. And what I wanted to show you is exactly a historic photo. We are in a Fiat. What, what Fiat is this, Simon? Uh, Fiat. Polski Fiat. Polski, Polski Fiat. Polski Fiat. But Fiat. Like the proper name, you can say it's 125P. 125P. And P at the end stands for being produced in the communist Polish country. It reminded me of my grandfather's car. <laughs> no power steering. Exactly like my grandfather's car. Very classic 